Hey guys, I'm Jameson. This is my wife, Jamie, and our daughter, Madison. And today, we're gonna show you how we made... What did we make? Bunking beds. Bunking beds. Bunking beds. Bunking beds. Bunk beds for dolls. Let's show you how we made them. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start by ripping everything down to width. There's gonna be four boards that are gonna come out of this that are three and a quarter inches wide, and then one that's gonna be 10 inches wide, and that's gonna be for the two bottoms of the bunks. Okay, so now that I've got everything ripped down to width on the table saw, I'm gonna head on over to the miter saw and cut it down to the appropriate lengths. Okay, so now that we've got everything cut down to size, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the templates to these boards and cut them out on the bandsaw. These are gonna be for the headboard and footboard, as well as the front board um, getting into the bed. All right, so now that I've got everything cut out and it's ready for assembly, I'm gonna go ahead and first, prior to assembly, I'm going to prime and paint all the pieces because I know once I get it together, it's gonna to be a pain to get into the nooks and crannies. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime and paint everything, let that dry, and then come back and assemble this thing. Okay, so it ended up taking two, I think almost three coats of paint. Um, and we've, we've allowed all that to dry overnight. So now we're gonna go ahead and assemble the headboard and the footboard. I'm gonna lay everything out and then I'm gonna use some Rapid Fuse quick setting adhesive to, um, to glue it up so that it's, it stays secured. And then I'm gonna finish it off with some one and a half inch brad nails just to make sure that everything stays in there nice and tight. Um, once I get the sides done, then I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the beds, which will essentially just be the base and the front and the back pieces. Once those two beds get assembled, then we'll put everything together and, uh, and that'll be done. she loves her bunking beds. It was a fun and easy build. If I had to do it over again, I probably would have made it out of plywood instead of MDF. Um, we had a couple of issues where the, the MDF started to kind of break apart and it soaked up a lot of paint. Um, but it still turned out great. It did turn out great. And nevertheless, Maddie loves it. Do you love it? <laughs> <laughs> so as always, if you guys want to build a project like this, make sure you check out the website rogueengineer.com where I'll post the full plans including the cut list, the step-by-step -step tutorial, the templates for these cutouts and these cutouts. Um, those will all be included on the website. If you haven't hit subscribe already, make sure you do that so you won't miss out on any future projects. And as always, happy building. Happy building. <laughs> be safe and happy building. Be safe and happy building. We'll see you next time. <laughs>